We are down here at Frankie's Free Range Meat on Monday. I'm not feeling so good, guys, and uh, honestly, I don't even want to do YouTube anymore, but um, we still have the business, a lot of customers, so I'm going to give you guys an update this week, and uh, we'll talk about what's going on. My uh, HVAC system is broken again, so my guys are sweating their guts out, and the building is also leaking a lot of water, so uh, not one week without issues, but my guys went on lunch. Uh, we have a decent amount of the meat orders ready, and we are going to send the remainder of the egg orders out uh, by tomorrow, Tuesday we should, and then more eggs should be coming in this week, so if you guys have been wanting to order eggs, we are sold out, but we will have some, should be on Wednesday or Thursday. First, I'll show you guys what we restocked, and then uh, we'll talk about what's going on uh, business-wise. So we do have the plain jerky as well as the seasoned jerky with uh, Frankie steak seasoning on it. Uh, we did have some chocolate best bars that we made last week and we still have plenty of pemmican guys. Also the plain water kefir and orange water kefir is in stock. So if you guys have been waiting for that we do have it. I don't know if we have anything new in the freezer. The uh, product here is still seized by the USDA. We should hear back from them this week. We do finally have some beef liver in stock. Plenty of beef liver over here. There's some lamb liver as well that I found. Tri-tip is restocked, about 1.5 pound portions. We still got a lot of bison, a lot of venison. So maybe we'll just try to liquidate everything. Yeah, because of everything going on, I'm just gonna basically try to sell all the meat, but I'm looking at the inventory. I don't even have that much. Like the business isn't really that profitable because I've tried to always get you guys uh, stuff as affordably as possible. And we had three years left on the lease that I planned on being down here. A lot of you guys are saying, oh, relocate, get out of New York. Well, if I had the money to do that, guys, I would have done it already. You don't just pick up everything and move. You need a lot of money for a down payment on a new facility. You know, I live with my parents. You guys know I'd have to relocate myself. I don't have the money to relocate guys and even just finding another lease nearby here everything has basically doubled in the past two years. It's probably the worst time to try to find a property or relocate or do anything. You know the rent on a place like this would be double or triple what it is now. So even if I did find a new lease I couldn't afford it. So relocating I don't know I'm, I'm talking to some real estate agents and I'm seeing if I could uh, find a new place out in a PA or something, but I'm basically getting the same answer that it's, it's too expensive. So I don't know about the relocating stuff, uh, staying down here in this hostile environment with this crazy landlord. I, I don't know, you know, we might have three months left. We might have a year left. Who knows? Who knows how much longer I'm going to be down here with all this stuff. But, uh, I, I really don't care at this point, you know, this past, week, week and a half has destroyed me mentally and physically. Uh, I've been debating on making a video on my neighbor. I don't really know if I want even more hostility down here, but my neighbor is the selfish reason that I'm in this whole predicament in the first place. So maybe if his business suffers a bit, then uh, maybe something happens. I don't know if he's working with the landlord. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I guess it's going to happen eventually when I get out of here anyway. Uh, downstairs, organ supplements, those products that were seized by the USDA, so we're probably not going to restock them or sell them. Um, I had to cancel the new order on organ supplements because of financial difficulties, so there's going to be no new product launch. Uh, there should be some stuff coming in on Wi-Fi shielding soon that I wouldn't have ordered if I knew all this was going to happen, but it should be here soon. And then Frankie's Naturals, everything should be in stock. Um, but as always, thank you guys for continuing to support the business. Uh, some of you guys offered to help, but it's really, e even if every single one of you guys gave me a hundred dollars, it still would not be enough money to relocate or do anything significant. But we'll see how it goes over the, the next few weeks, month or two. Uh, as I said earlier, I don't even want to do YouTube anymore. I've had enough of this guys, you know, they, stole all my ideas and everything I've researched and worked for on YouTube, made millions of dollars off of that. 
they stole money from me and infiltrated my business and now they're destroying my business too so I've really had enough I don't want to do this anymore and um, you know even if I did have the money to relocate uh, I, I don't have it really in me to do this work all day and train a new staff and, and try to make sure everything's going properly uh, yeah so maybe we'll do a, a day of eating later in the week guys I don't know, but if, I know if I stop doing YouTube videos altogether, then uh, I'll really lose a lot of viewers because that one time we stopped doing live streams, we basically lost half of the live stream viewer base uh, when I had to get my jaw surgery for a month. So uh, I'll try to do another video this week and hopefully I start feeling a bit better, but I don't know.